हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस क्वेश्चन इज अगेन फ्रॉम गेट 2010 एग्जाम इट्स अ फोर मार्क्स क्वेश्चन वेयर वी हैव टू पार्ट्स टू मार्क्स फॉर ईच पार्ट सो आई एम रीडिंग द पार्ट वन फर्स्ट अ कंप्यूटर सिस्टम हैज एन एल वन कैश एन एल टू कैश एंड अ मेन मेमरी यूनिट कनेक्टेड एज शोन बिलो द ब्लॉक साइज इन एल वन कैश इज फोर वर्ड्स The block size in L2 cache is 16 words. The main memory access times are 2 nanoseconds, 20 nanoseconds, and 200 nanoseconds for L1 cache, L2 cache, and the main memory unit, respectively. Then just have a look at this diagram. After it, they are saying, when there is a miss in L1 cache and a hit in L2 cache, a block is transferred from L2 to L1. what is the time taken for this transfer okay so they are saying that in this configuration if l1 cache has access time of 2 nanoseconds l2 has access time of 20 nanoseconds and main memory has access time of 200 nanoseconds how much time is required for transferring one block from here to here now you see we are not actually required to supply that block or that word to cpu we are only required to find the time taken for transferring okay nothing is given about hit rate miss rate whatsoever don't worry about such things you just calculate the time taken to transfer a block from l2 cache to l1 cache so now the confusion is here block size is four words and here it's 16 words which one to consider it will be four words you will consider this block size because there is a miss in this cache so you will bring one block according to this size because obviously at end of the day it is going to be placed in l1 cache and any block that is placed in l1 cache will be of four words okay so first confusion is cleared let's solve this one so after that we need to transfer a block from here to here that means we'll read l2 that means accessing l2 so it will take 20 nanoseconds immediately after reading it the data will be placed on to the bus bus is four words also the data that we have taken from here is four words now that data will be placed on to the bus immediately after these 20 nanoseconds and this cache l1 cache will be given a write signal that means this cache will copy everything from the bus so that will be write l1 it's going to take 2 nanoseconds so in total these are 22 nanoseconds so answer to the first part is 22 nanoseconds let me now read out the second part it says when there is a miss in both l1 and l2 cache first a block is transferred from main memory to l2 cache then a block is transferred from l2 cache to l1 cache what is the total time taken for these transfers okay now they are saying first a block is transferred from main memory to l2 then a block is transferred from l2 to l1 don't worry about hit rates miss rates and how much time will cpu be taking to access this data no they are just asking about this transfer plus this transfer that's it let's now see how much data will be transferred from main memory to l2 it will be 16 words because block size here is 16 words okay whatever data we fetch from main memory will be placed into l2 and l2 accepts a block of 16 words that means 16 words of data have to be transferred but the thing is this intermediary bus is only capable of carrying four words here also it's capable of carrying only four words that's actually not a problem in this case because we are always transferring four words only 
बट हेयर वी आर ट्रांसफरिंग सिक्सटीन वर्ड्स द बस इज अ बॉटल नेक इट कैर इज ओनली फोर वर्ड्स दैट मीन्स वी विल ट्रांसफर इट इन फोर फोर वर्ड्स सो टोटल फोर एक्सेस विल बी रिक्वायर्ड सिक्सटीन वर्ड्स विल बी स्प्लिट इन टू फोर फोर वर्ड्स लेट सी सो एक्सेस टाइम ऑफ मेन मेमरी इज टू हंड्रेड नैनो सेकेंड्स फॉर ट्रांसफरिंग समथिंग फ्रॉम हेयर टू हेयर वील रीड मेन मेमरी फर्स्ट सो दिस इज एक्चुअली एल टू टू एल वन ट्रांसफर नाउ लेट्स फाइंड आउट मेन मेमरी टू एल टू ट्रांसफर सो फर्स्ट स्टेप विल बी रीड द मेन मेमरी इट्स गोइंग टू टेक टू हंड्रेड नैनो सेकेंड्स देन वी विल राइट इन एल टू कैश दिस विल बी ट्वेंटी नैनो सेकेंड्स सो फॉर ट्रांसफरिंग फोर वर्ड्स वी टेक टू हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी नैनो सेकेंड्स दैट मीन्स फॉर ट्रांसफरिंग सिक्सटीन वर्ड्स वील मल्टीप्लाई दिस नंबर बाय फोर ओके सो फॉर फोर वर्ड्स फोर वर्ड्स रिक्वायर टू ट्वेंटी नैनो सेकेंड्स सिक्सटीन वर्ड्स विल रिक्वायर टू ट्वेंटी इंटू एट नैनो सेकेंड्स ओके दिस विल बी सॉरी इंटू फोर नैनो सेकेंड्स दिस विल बी एट एटी नैनो सेकेंड्स ओके नाउ बाय स्पेंडिंग एट हंड्रेड एंड एटी नैनो सेकेंड्स वी ट्रांसफर्ड वन ब्लॉक इन टू एल टू दैट टू ऑफ सिक्सटीन वर्ड्स नाउ a four words block will be transferred in l1 that means 22 nanoseconds so total time taken in transferring a block from here from main memory to l2 then l2 to l1 will be 880 nanoseconds plus 22 nanoseconds so this one will be 902 nanoseconds so answer to second part is 902 nanoseconds okay now i want to discuss a few more points some of you might get a doubt that access time of this cache is 20 nanoseconds so someone might think that accessing 16 words require 20 nanoseconds no it's not the case generally accessing one word means the access time okay but in cases the access time is also given with respect to the bus okay that means these 20 nanoseconds are the access time with respect to the bus bus is four words that means accessing the maximum amount of that are, that is possible once in one go you can fetch four words so that means four words actually take 20 nanoseconds but if you are not aware of this fact you might just think that 16 words require 20 nanoseconds and we want only 4 words so the time will be 20 divided by 4 no please don't do such things similarly it's applicable here also so yeah that's it so answer to second part is 902 nanoseconds and answer to the first part was 22 nanoseconds okay